I just want to say this real quick. Again, um, you can have feelings about your role in an organization. You can have feelings about your money. You can have any feelings you want. You sure? But don't we look at people and ask them in general in life to remember where they came from? I remember a day when Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, wow, did they have Jimmy Ward's back. This fan base was marching on every bridge in this city, screaming for Earl Thomas. You've got to go get a new free safety. This idiot Ward cannot stay healthy. We've got to go get a new free safety. And Kyle Shanahan walked to a microphone and goes, you guys, Jimmy Ward's awesome. He's really awesome. We believe in Jimmy Ward. And they re-signed Jimmy Ward. And Jimmy Ward, indeed, was awesome and healthy. And that set him up for all of the money he made then and the money he was going to make in his next contract, too. I wonder... If somebody might remind Jimmy Ward of that, even if he's got a point this time, did he get jerked around a little bit, position moved, asked to play when not fully healthy? Did all that happen and it frustrated him? Okay, that's fine. Do you remember before that? When they had your back, Jimmy, they had your back and they helped you out a lot. They set you up for these millions that you're making now. When the rest of the world thought that you were damaged goods, Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch had your back. I just want to say that. I think that's important. He signed a three-year, $28.5 million contract extension in March of 2020, and he went out and balled out. Mm -hmm. So two things are equally true. Yes, they had his back, and Niner fans always used him as kind of a scapegoat and a pin cushion, and then he played great after he got that extension. So... You get to the end of it, and you know he says these things about Kyle. Any relationship with any boss that you have for, I guess that would be about six years. He was here, you know, whenever, yeah. whenever Kyle and John took over. It's very dynamic. Did they draft him, or, or or was he before that? Oh, he was before that. He was before that. Yeah, he was before that. Before that, uh, twenty fourteen. Okay, he was picked, and okay. that was uh, before Tom Sula, before Chip Kelly. Yeah, I tell you what, man, that guy was drafted early and uh, had an injury riddled career, and I I remember that. I remember that because it was a moment. It was kind of a Farhan moment, to be honest with you. I remember Kyle Shanahan had a press conference and said, "We really believe in Jimmy Ward," and people went off a of crack. <laughs> right, this guy with the former injured players and believing in him. And uh, it doesn't always work, but it did then. And he made millions and millions of dollars, raised his profile, had an opportunity to play on a high, high high-level defense with great teammates around him and play very well. And he did a great job with that. He deserves tons of credit, and he stayed healthy. So great job by Jimmy Ward. But I'm surprised that when I hear stuff like that, it's not like, Okay, you, you, you were bummed at the end, but you, you don't remember what they did for you the first time around? That's all. That's all. Well, there might be more to it than just sure. what, uh, what we see in a contract and in Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch standing behind him, which is what they did. But there's obviously more to it in terms of behind the scenes that we never see. And Jimmy Ward is obviously feeling some kind of way about the way it went or the way it ended. And, you know, now when he's on the other side with D'Amico, with Miko, Miko. he's, you know, more willing to uh, rat-a-tat-tat the era. Um, and then my only other thought is, is uh, again, I want, to, uh, I want to high-five our entire staff here um, for, for bringing everybody behind the curtain because the Internet uh, went and did Jimmy Garoppolo dirty today. Because if any of you saw the cut that's all over social media about Jimmy Ward on Richard Sherman's podcast – What you heard sounded like Jimmy Ward saying Garoppolo left us high and dry by not suiting up against the Eagles last year. And it's not that there's not a little piece of that in this commentary, but that was not what Jimmy was getting at. What he basically was getting at was, 
I think Garoppolo, in, in fact, if you listen to the full context, which I'm going to play for you here in just a sec. I was going to say just play the short context because, you know, I think the short context is. Well, yeah. Do we have both? Grandy, if you could throw the other one up on the board, too, we can do the side-by-side. Because the short context makes it seem completely like he feels like Jimmy Garoppolo was healthy enough to play. Right, but but what he was actually saying was, I think Jimmy didn't play because Kyle Shanahan plays games right? like he did with me. And so it was almost like he's saying, I get why Garoppolo did that, because Kyle does people dirty, is essentially... What I heard. Is that about right? Do That's the way I heard it, too. Okay, so for everybody out there listening, and in Peter King in less than 10 minutes, here's what's circulating on the internet. Richard Sherm's podcast, Jimmy Ward, and uh, the nicknames that you'll hear in these two. Uh, A.T. is Ambry Thomas. Miko is D'Amico Ryans. Uh, who, el- who else am I forgetting? Who else? Oh, he, he, he references... Uh, your boy putting up the birds. Yeah, he's talking about Earl Thomas uh, flipping off Pete Carroll uh, while with the Seahawks. L O B. So here's what's circulating on the internet from Jimmy Ward. And then that's why I said that at the the Philadelphia game. And that's probably some of the stuff that went down with Jimmy too. I don't know, man, because I feel like Jimmy could have dressed out. I feel like Jimmy could have dressed out that last game, but you know how this go. You know how this how this stuff. You, yeah, I seen I seen your boy shooting a bird when he broke his when he broke his leg. So you I know, you know, I, like, I, know I know how it goes. So by the way, Sherm is in the background just nodding and smiling right, too. Right. Yeah, I know how it goes. I know <laughs> how it goes. Okay, so that uh, it makes it sound like he's saying, "Boy, this Garoppolo guy, he's the p word. He leaves his teams yeah. high and dry." I feel like Jimmy G uh, could have played against Philadelphia, but you know that's the way that goes. Uh, Richard Sherman podcast via the volume. This is what was actually said after the Chiefs game when I when I had that bad game, my first game back. I said, "Let me go to Coach Kyle. Let me look him in the eye and hear from his mouth." Say, hey, man, I don't want to play nickel no more. I want to play safety. He said, oh, oh, you don't want to start? And when he told me that, I said, no. I said, just put me on special teams. I'll ball at special teams. He's like, oh, no, just give it a 48-hour rule. And I was like, okay. I gave it a 48-hour rule. And that's why after that Tampa Bay Buccaneers, when I had to talk to him after the game, he's like, hey, we need you to move the corner. Uh, You know, uh, AT's ankle kind of bummed up. I'm like, AT ankle? I said, AT, AT was just... Running down kickoff. Like, what do you mean? AT, AT ankle was bombed up. It's like, bro, pin him at corner. What are you hiding him from? Like, y'all draft him third round to play corner. Like, what, right. you, what are you talking about? Like, ankle. Like, I'm out here with a broke hand. You said his ankle hurt? And he's still on special teams? I'm, I looked at him. I was like, and I told him. This is my first time. I said, no. I said, I'm not, I'm not going to corner, bro. I was like, bro, I had no practice at corner. I said, y'all already did me like this once. And, told, and I was, I, then Miko came and asked me. I was like, Miko, I, I can't do it. I said, no. And then I heard Coach Kyle from the sideline. I guess we'll just be the Z's at corner. And I said, and that's when I snapped. I was like, man, I guess you're going to have to. And then that's why I said that at the, the Philadelphia game. And that's probably some of the stuff that went down with Jimmy, too. I don't know, man, because I feel like Jimmy could have dressed out. I feel like Jimmy could have dressed out that last game. But, you know, you know how this go. You know how this how this stuff. You, yeah, I seen, I seen your boy shooting a bird when he broke his when he broke his leg. Yeah, the point was not Jimmy G's a jerk who lets his teammates down. His point was Kyle plays games with some people, and that's probably how Jimmy was feeling, and that's how I was feeling, too. That's how all the Jimmys felt on the 49er sideline. Yes, and that gives you a, a window into how he was feeling, certainly, and then... You know, he brings Jimmy G into it unnecessarily because yep. he doesn't know how Jimmy G was feeling in terms of his ankle unless the two Jimmys had a conversation and Jimmy G said, well, you know, I'm actually good. I'm I'm 100%, but I'm not going to play because I don't feel good about Kyle Shanahan unless that's the conversation they had. He doesn't really know about Jimmy Garoppolo. And, you know, Ambry Thomas kind of gets a little bit of a rat-a-tat-tat in this, but, <laughs> you know, and he actually mentioned... Well, you know, because Kyle took him in the third round, and so... Bring that up. Bring yeah. that up. Speak on that. Well, I mean, because Jimmy Ward feels like Kyle's going to protect his guy because Ambry Thomas was a Kyle pick, and Ambry Thomas has not been necessarily a lockdown corner at this juncture of his career, and so because of that, Jimmy Ward is feeling some kind of way wow. that Kyle's trying to protect his guy. It's also a flimsy take. Oh, you drafted him in third round to play corner. Let him play corner. Well, right. They also drafted Trey Lance to play quarterback. Should he still be the quarterback? Guys get in, 
and they're not what you think they are, and you adjust, and you do good, and that's what's happened. The last two defensive coordinators are now head coaches for a reason because the defense has been awesome the last few years. I wonder if Trey Lance ever speaks on uh, his time with the Niners. going to have to play well first. Or, or play. Yeah, he can't, play say, period. He can't say a damn third, third string. Yeah. 